Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy XII. So the last time we left off, actually I'm going to open up my map here real quick just to give you a scale of how big this area is, the Cheetah Uplands. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that name correctly, but it is what it is. <laughs> so look at this place, man. Wow, we just went through this entire area. I don't think we found anything worthwhile, and sorry if I... If I sounded like I was um, complaining a little bit, but you know, this game is very large, and um, what I really love, I think we ended off here on the Save Spear, um, Save Crystal map last time, but I walked my way all the way east to here because uh, this is the part that we haven't explored yet. The way we're supposed to be going is to the Sochin Cave Palace up here uh, because there is a side quest we can do from that kit that we um, talked to last time, plus, that is actually the way to Arcades. But uh, back to what I, what I was saying, the thing I really like about all these maps is that even though there's not a lot of content on them, um, as in, you know, just like random enemies and things you can't really interact with, but look at this, look at the top there, they all have their different unique names, Realm of the Elder Dream, uh, Olive Sack Rise, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, the Nameless Spring Garden of Life Circle, um, I find it really nice, really good detail that uh, these maps actually have names to them. Now I've known this obviously since the very beginning, but uh, you know, when a zone has, when, I guess when you see that they have their own name, it makes them a bit more unique and a bit more likable even if there's nothing in particular um, that's too remarkable about them. So here we have the Limatra Hills, the Kema Hills, Hunter's Camp, Voodoo Strand. Um, plus it makes it easier to identify different areas if we had to come back to them for whatever reason, like a hunt or something. So yeah, I, li I like the names. I'm a sucker for lore, so I, I like to know if uh, different areas have names and whether or not there will be something later to come back to. <laughs> okay, so let's just keep on going this way east and... Let's discover what's here. Hey, it's another save crystal. Very interesting. Um, let me check my map real quick. Wow. So this place is going to keep on going on. I might as well heal up. I got a little bit injured on the way here. Um, let's talk to this. Oh, maybe there's no way forward. <laughs> but we'll talk to him anyways. Game Hunter. I'm a hunter out of the Fawn Coast. Contracted to defeat this menace in the Sochin Cave Palace, but I can't find my employer. Where is he? Um, yeah, Cheetah Uplands is a pretty big place. You could get lost pretty easily. We were supposed to meet in the Cheetah Uplands, but this is the road to Therapy Step. Must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Is it actually, or can I... Um, no, it doesn't look like there's any way through here right now. But I bet it will be cleared at some point or another. Uh, okay, that is fine. It's not like that's where we're supposed to be going anyway, so... Doesn't really bother me. So, um, yeah, let's go back to the map here. We're going to make our way all the way up there. I'll make a small edit in this video just, you know, so that we can cut right there so you don't have to watch me walk all the way there, even though it's only going to take like 20 seconds. But, um, yep, yeah, I'll see you guys there. Hey guys, we're, we're finally here. I switched up my party to Bosch, Ash, and Vaughn uh, because they need a little bit of leveling. Fran and Pinello are both level 35. I'm going to miss Pinello's Black Magic casts, but, um, I think these guys do need a little bit of leveling, so I'm going to actually apply some license points for some of my characters. Vaughn and Ash both have over a thousand license points. If you don't really care about me doing this, just skip ahead maybe five or ten minutes and uh, I'll be done with it. But if you do care, you know, stick with me and we'll go through the license board together. Um, so I think we're at the point where I think I, we should be learning some of the second level quickenings so that they do a bit more damage. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and unlock the White Whirl for Vaughn. And whoa, Bravery and Kiraja, nice. Hope we can learn those soon. Um, gain MP. Vaughn still doesn't use a lot of MP, so I'm not going to learn those just yet. Uh, what else do we have here? I did give him the Bellius Summon. Here are the, all the accessories. Oh my, 500 HP. That's something. Whoa, a lot of HP going on. This is Monk, right? Okay, so this is Monk. Interesting. Um, oh, which reminds me. I did say I, w I was going to... Um, have Vaughn learn some like sword skills or s uh, the ability to use some swords on the Bushi job the last time we left off. So that is what I'm going to do. But after I get these HP augments here, these seem amazing. He suddenly just gained almost, almost a thousand HP. That's, that's so awesome. Wait a minute, I can get another one. <laughs> wait, wait, maybe, maybe these. Okay, so there's Battle Lore. Battle Lore finally increases damage by a little bit. Uh, ribbon, which I don't really need right now. There's some more battle lords down here, but I do have to learn this ribbon to get them, and that's a lot of license points. Maybe I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this 500 HP 
That seems like it's a lot. And now let's just go on to Bushi and we'll learn some swords for him. So before we do that, obviously I have to check what kind of swords I actually have. Um, so we're looking for katanas. Um, I know I saved one of them. There it is, the Ashura. On hit blind and it's two-handed. Okay, that's cool. Only ninja swords one. Oh, very interesting. I guess ninja swords are just like stronger than all the other swords. Okay, so where is ninja swords one? It's different from katanas. Um, hmm, where would that be? Is that even available for Bushi? Maybe Bushi is katana only. I mean, it does make more sense, but huh? Yeah, maybe he is. Masamune, Blood Sword, Soul Eater. Yeah, I think I think um, Bushi can only use katanas. He can't actually use ninja swords. Ninja swords could be something that's only available to the Shikari class. Let me see. Bosh. Um, so you got daggers here. Daggers. Um, hmm. Who uses ninja swords? Guns. Oh, whoa. Okay. It's very interesting. Was it the full breaker? Is dead? No, he uses axes. Huh. Could it be. I don't know. Knight? <laughs> knight doesn't seem like a class to use ninja swords. Great swords. No, it's great swords. But then again, all classes seem to have two different weapons they use. Um, is it a monk? Hmm, I don't see it. Ah, it would be so useful if there were some kind of a search function. Damn it. Yeah, because I could just be like skipping over it without realizing, but damn. Ninja swords, huh? Okay. I think uh, I've I've seen it before. I just don't remember where. Oh well, let's just leave it. I'm pretty sure the um, Bushi doesn't actually have it. So let's see what other weapons I have here. Um, do I have any katanas? I don't think I do. <laughs> well, so much for that. Yeah, I haven't had a like upgrade for Vaughn's staff for a very long time. So he, he he is fairly underwhelming, but at least he's got a ton of HP now. Look at that, 4,400. <laughs> All right, let's go back to applying more of his license board. Um, what do we have here? Swiftness, definitely. Make him a little bit faster. Uh, magic Lore, I don't think I need right now. What else can I get on the Bushi board here? He can learn Mystic Armor stuff, which is okay. Here are all his accessories, uh, Infuse, Bone Crusher, huh, Remedy Lore. Okay, I think it's about time that we gave him another Remedy Lore. Why not? Everyone's got to learn it eventually. Shields of <laughs> Shades of Black, okay. That will give him a reason to like cast something. 70 <sighs> license point though, oh well, here we go. I do like shield, Shades of Black. Why do I want to say Shields of Black? I don't know. Spellbound increases duration. He doesn't have any status effects. Um, okay. <laughs> That's very interesting. Okay, let's go back to Monk. I think Monk had a slightly better stuff to work with here. Uh, what do we have? Increase. Oh, he has that too. Hmm. Revive. Uh, wither, lower one full strength. That could be really useful, actually. Um, I just have to remember that I actually have that ability, and maybe if it works on bosses, amazing, but if it doesn't work on bosses, then I don't know. Pretty underwhelming. Okay, so now Vaughn has a ton of HP. It doesn't matter if he's attacked or not. Like He will, he will survive whatever things have to throw at him. Let's go on to Ash now. Um, do I want to develop the Machinist, or do I want to develop the White Mage? Hmm... Well, I mean, these are only 30 each, so let's just go ahead and unlock some of these battle lords. I wonder if it actually affects gun damage though. I see no reason why it shouldn't. Let's see, gain MP after defeating a foe, definitely. 
she actually uses MP a lot. Um, and that reminds me, I actually switched off Pinello's Sager's Ring and put it onto Ash. That's the accessory that halves MP usage uh, because I'm not using Pinello right now. Okay, so I'll get that one again or another one of those magic lures. And there's Heaven's Wrath. I can unlock that. That's the second level quickening, and I think I will. Boom. Okay. Nice. Now, what else is here? Stamp, swiftness, swiftness. Uh, okay, but it does require a lot of points, though, but I think 20% extra swiftness is worth it. Let's just go ahead and get stamp. And uh, both of these swiftness. Now... I desperately need to find more HP. So let's see if I can get that. Yes, right here. Ash doesn't even have 2000 HP. Uh, she dies way too quickly. Not quite as quickly as Pinello for some reason. But um, still. <laughs> okay, awesome. Got a bunch of HP. Now I want some more... Um, what's it called? Magic lures, if possible. To make her heal more. Uh, Serenity increases magic power when HP is full. That's decent, I think. Uh, Easter lore could be useful, but I will get this magic lore. Man, my license, like, licenses are just all over the place. The renew is over here, which is really cool. And we're out of license points. Let's go on to Bosch. He has only 300. But maybe I can still unlock something cool. Um, I really want him to learn an ability that consumes some form of MP so I can, like, uh, use MP with him. Oh, here's Ninja Swords. So it's Shikari. Interesting. Hmm. So there's Ninja Swords 1. I mean 2. There's 1, I bet. Yeah, there it is. Uh, maybe it only goes up to 2. Wow, that's actually very cool. If I learn this, I'll have to give up a shield. Now, is the Ashura stronger than whatever Bosch is using right now? No, it's not, and I also lose some evade because I can't use a shield anymore, but uh, for sure the ninja sword has more consistent damage than this axe, the Francisca, or Francisca, and it also has unhit blind. Hmm, worth a shot, I think. It is 100 license points, but um, I think uh, I want to experiment, it with, it, experiment it with it a little bit, so let's unlock that, ninja sword's one, and let's see what else we can get. So we got a bunch of um, battle lores here. Remedy lore 3 is over here as well. Can I unlock this rune impediment? Yes, I can. In that case, I will go for it. Give him his second level quickening. And oh, here's Ninja Swords 3. Cool. So it does go over 2. And what can I do with the last 70? Increases strength when HP is full. That's pretty cool. Um, in case like he's not the focus of an enemy attack, then he'll do more damage. Anything else? Remedy lore... Uh, flame purge, whoa. Wait. Um, is that actually a third level quickening? <laughs> because this one costs less license points. Yeah, who knows. Yeah, I think I'll give him this focus. That will leave him with nine license points left, which is not a great idea because if I find a better weapon, I won't be able to learn it. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll pick up the Ashura, lose that shield, and he has the Archer. Okay, I think we're all set here. Let's move on with the game at long last. There's his Ninja Sword. Wow. It is tiny. Why is that two-handed? <laughs> okay, so we got an enemy there. The Zomp. Whoa. Whoa, I can't even... No information? Really? Okay. Wow, that is so strong. What's going on? Why are we so strong? <laughs> Oh my god, Ash is doing like 1400 damage a hit. That's ridiculous. And bot 3200? What? Okay. So the reason I can't view their information is because I turned Vaughn's Libra off. So I'll turn that back on. And let's take a look at the other things for him. Mm, for Bosch, he has these item things. And yeah, I guess that's all he really needs. Let's take off. Um, the eye drops here, and I think I will put on like high potion. When allies HP is really low, uh, maybe 30% on toss a high potion. It's only for desperate situations, not just like toss at any time. I don't have that, that many of them, so there we go. Okay, so got Libra going. Let's explore this little cave. Or it could be a big cave, who knows. 
Actually, I'm willing to put my money on the fact that it's a big cave. <laughs> okay, but the damage we're dishing out is absolutely insane. Look at this. 1,600? 1,700? <laughs> I mean, it could be just like these enemies have very low defenses, but whatever the case, like, I'm seeing big numbers. I like, I like it. And the way he's, uh, he holds a ninja sword is very interesting. It's clearly a one-headed weapon. I mean, uh, and plus, Bosch just looks so weird with it. I think it would be more appropriate if someone like, I don't know, Vaughn or even maybe Pinello was holding that weapon. But, hey, if Bosch wants it, he'll, t he'll have it. Okay, what is this thing? Imp. Okay, whatever it is, it just died super quickly. Okay. Hmm, I might want to put Vaughn in the pole position. Because he does have more HP, like a lot more HP, than Bosch. Um, I don't know who has more defenses though. I'm pretty sure Bosch has more defenses because he's using heavy armor versus Vaughn's light armor. Hmm. Okay, high potion, that's good. Now it's very unsettling that there's no music in this place. Feels like something might jump out at me at any moment. Okay. Parry. How does a big frog parry? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll have uh, Vaughn take up the leader position. So he can take some more hits. I mean, he's not going to take all the hits. Monsters are very fickle when it comes to s switching targets, but at least he'll be soaking up more damage than others. Hopefully. If he's not stealing all the time. <laughs> okay, let's see. I do have... Wait. Oh, wait. I don't have Wither. Mm, oh, that's right. I haven't learned it yet. Wow. Why did I forget such an important fact? Oh my god, I'm dying. Having a lot of HP is good, but if I'm taking a lot of damage, it doesn't really help. Okay. Attack this thing. Okay, nice. 366, not bad. And I'll just have Ash toss another Cura. Actually, I'll toss a regen on him. Uh, the, uh, there we go. It doesn't really, like, regenerate that much, but uh, I'll take whatever healing I can get. Okay, let's move on. Let me see. 794, 97. Yeah, the regeneration is quite pathetic. Okay, so use the Soul Ward key, that kid that, ga that kid, uh, gave me. Will we find a boss here? Oh, more cussing. I'll take that. Oh god. What's what the heck? <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, that's so funny. Oh my god, there are so many of them. What do I do? I need to take off the steel. I mean, no doubt I can steal something really interesting from them, but... Wow, uh, there are so many of them. So, oh my god, should I bring Penelo back in? She seems very useful for a fight like this, because... Um, there are so many of them. I want to, like, attack them with some area damage. Okay, but this thing is going down pretty quickly. Hopefully the others don't interfere too much. Okay, that's one of them down. Let's focus on the next guy. Guys, let's go. Okay, so I see unlocking another um, quickening actually gives all our characters a second quickening bar, a mist bar, which makes sense. Um, Bosch's sap, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, why don't we get a cure going here preemptively? Yeah, they're not doing, like, a lot of damage, but... Oh, maybe they are. Maybe they are. Hold on. 
Someone is in trouble. Ash. Oh my god, that doesn't wake her up. Uh, which one of these does? Princess Kiss. Ash, get up. Okay, let's also toss a remedy onto Bosch, I guess. He is slowed and poisoned and sapped. And now he's blind? No, he's not blind. Good. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop it. Wake up, Bosch. Wake up. Okay. They're not too dangerous, but they sure like apply a bunch of annoying status effects. Okay, there we go. We're just doing too much damage, I guess. <laughs> What's this now? Are they ascending to heaven? <laughs> okay, goodbye little tomato things. Our Al Rune or our Rons, I think they were called. Okay, awesome. Got that classic victory fanfare again. In the style of Final Fantasy XII, that is. Mandragora's Vanquished. Okay, so that was, in fact, the hunt that that little kid made us do. Alright. So, Bosch is still slowed, poisoned, and sapped. Uh, I can do something about the poison and the slow. In fact, I don't even need to do anything about the slow. The slow will go away on its own. But unfortunately, I can't do much about the sap. Ether... I gotta remember who, uh, which one of my characters actually has the remedy lore. Um, in fact, let's just check right now. There we go. Where's the remedy? There. Okay, so... Yeah, Vaughn has two, but not one. That's interesting. Balthier has one and two. So does Fran. Bosch has nothing. Ash has nothing. Penelo has nothing. Damn it, I should have given Vaughn the remedy lord one. That way he can remedy most of my uh, status conditions. Let's see if I can still get it. Mm, remedy lore 1. Oh boy, here we go. Looking for it in this big mess. <laughs> uh, where are you? Is this it? Swiftness. Oh. It's actually not bad. Mm. Okay. Ha 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 ha. Seriously? Ah, there it is. Only 20. Perfect. Okay, so now Vaughn can cure most status conditions. And I think that includes Sap, but... Sap is also another one of those that just don't just go away if you wait out long enough. No need to waste a remedy on it. Okay... Nothing there, and guess we'll just move on. All right. The music is back, which uh, I like. Always makes me really uneasy when there's no music in a place. Hey, Scamote. Alright. That should be my second one now. Now, what is back here? Other than a trap. Oh, Mana Font Trap. Mana Font Trap. Cool. Nice. Actually, useful traps. Wow. Speaking of nice, 5,000 gil from a single treasure chest. Finally. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Ash, why don't you throw a regen onto Bosch just to counteract that sap? Does that actually remove it? Oh, it does! Great, so regen is a counter for sap. Now, now I know. 
Now I know. <laughs> In fact, why don't I just start it as a gambit? Um, or fear. That's not really useful. Actually, I might just like remove all of these protect. Uh, I'll cast protect if something is just really, really giving me a lot of trouble. But otherwise, I don't think she actually needs it. So I uh, will do this with ally any, and I'll put actually ally affected with um, sap. There we go. We'll cast regen. Um, I will put that as a low priority though because you don't want to actually um, use that in the middle of battle. Sap is not like that um, critical of a condition. So I got Cura, I got Rays. Um, uh, let's start using this a little earlier because uh, my characters have a lot of HP now. The Ether thing I can keep on or switch off but I'll keep it there and I think that should be good. Spells like Essena, um, they are very difficult to find a place in my gambits for because um, for the most part I will just cure status conditions more. What the heck? Oh my god, it's a crystal bug. Another one. Okay. So killing this thing I believe actually unlocks a save crystal. And that is fine. Yeah, we, we had one of these inside the Steel Shrine of Miriam, uh, Miriam, I believe. And it's really nice because it gives us the opportunity to heal. No need to save the game because of autosaves. But healing is always nice. Okay. Oh, poor guy. Desiccated corpse and adventure bound for the capital. It would seem he didn't make it. It would seem so. Man, they're not making it easy to get into the capital, are they? I mean, I guess they're expecting most of their visitors, visitors to arrive by boat or by airship. So, they're not expecting a lot of people to go there by foot. And that's why it's like all guarded and stuff. Alright, zombies, easy peasy. Uh, in fact, I'm just gonna switch that steel back on. Oh my god. Bosh, why are you so strong again? <laughs> Feels good when the damage is consistent. Now, is there an elevator here that will come up eventually? Because otherwise, why would they have these little unsealed portions? Hmm. Okay. What do we have here? More imps? Okay. They should be of minimal consequence. Fairly easy. Alright, you're gonna have to heal yourself, Ash. There are a lot of them going... Oh my god, now she's asleep. Uh, nope, she got woken up. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Stop focusing your attacks on Ash. Leave her alone. I'm right here. Ash, move that way. Oh my gosh, she died. Um, yeah, yeah. You know what, Ash? Just, just, just walk away. Walk away. There we go. Uh, I'm always uh, conflicted about who to control. Do I control the like characters with more HP so that enemies will attack them first? Or do I control the squishier character so I can walk, move out of the way when they attack that character? It makes sense to uh, control the squishier characters actually. Or I can just swap on the fly. Um, ow. <laughs> eh, I suppose I can swap on the fly if I needed to. As long as I stay away with Ash, I mean, the other two can handle themselves. Fairly tanky. Okay, cool. Yep, get 
out of the way. A strip of maggoty flesh. Mm-mm-mm. Zombie knights. <laughs> okay, silence. Oh, well, Bosch didn't need to do that, but oh well. No one cares if Bosch is silenced. I do not care at all. Like, what does he have? Um, infuse. Hmm. Yeah, infuse is okay. Revive. Fully consumes user's HP, reviving and fully restoring HP from one... Okay, so sacrifice yourself for another. Uh, no, I don't like revive at all. As far as techniques go, not a lot of them are very useful so far. Um, or I just haven't really used the useful ones and I don't know which ones they are. <laughs> Either or. I haven't really come to uh, needing to use any of the techniques though, so... Maybe in the future we'll get to use some techniques, but for now, not so much. It's all about just spells. Attacking spells and healing spells. <laughs> That's really all it's about. But it is it is kind of lame without Pinello doing like black magic anymore. Uh, oh, come to think of it, Vaughn has shades of black, but he can't use it because I haven't learned it. Oh my god. Whoa, what the heck is going on there? Guess I learned it for no reason. Yeah. I keep forgetting that I need a license for it. But, you know, at the time when I was using it with... What's his name? Larsa. When I was using it with Larsa, right? Um, it just felt so natural that I thought any of my other characters could just learn it. <laughs> but... I guess not. Oh, can I just attack him from over here? <laughs> yeah. Ash's damage is way too intense for a character mainly used for healing. And oh my god, there are a lot of paths to choose from in this place. What the heck? I doubt yeah, I can cross this? Yep. Even though it's just a geyser of water. Um, it's a waterfall, really. Um, okay, what is this? What is this? What is this I'm sensing? Uh, oh, Mark of the Council. Read the inscription. Wayfarers traveling the road to Arcades, the Pilgrim's Door holds not for you. That way lie trouble and confusion. You who are yet drawn towards the Pilgrim's Door, journey heaven and earth in search of the heart, and you will surely reach it. Journey heaven and earth. What? <laughs> that just meant absolutely nothing to me, but okay. I feel like we have a puzzle to figure out in this place. Okay, so that path leads back to the other map. No need to go there. And wow, this place is big. Wendigo. Okay. Oh, damn. The Zara. Kill it. Uh, which way do I go? Wow. Um, let's go this way. Yeah, sorry. I wish there were something exciting to commentate on, but really there isn't. <laughs> uh... At least all these paths are leading back to themselves, so there's not like a lot to this place. Like, uh, well, there is a lot to this place, but not as much as I thought it would be when there, when there were four paths to take to get to the next area, you know? 
for now we just have to keep on killing enemies. Um, you know, while we're killing these enemies, might as well just like look around to see if there's any good stuff we can find. Uh, probably not here. What about this place here? Yeah, this looks like it's leading to another area. Let's come back here. And we might as well toss a Kronos tier onto Vaughn. Alright. Okay, so this actually just led back here. Um, I'll kill this thing and then we'll move on. Wow, that died really fast. <laughs> So I'm not really sure what that inscription meant. Heaven and earth and you shall find your heart or something. Why did that Kronos here not work? Or did Vaughn get afflicted by another one? Oh, I think it was because I zoned out to another map before I could finish the animation. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, so while I'm going through here, I'm, I think I'll just like go over quickly my uploading schedule for this series. Um, not this episode, but the next episode I upload, that will probably be the, be the last one I do for maybe two or three weeks. Because I am going to be away for the next two weeks and I won't have access to um, my recording software. Um, it's like work related stuff is pretty boring. So unfortunately after the next episode that I upload, which is going to be two days after I upload this one. Um, I, I obviously haven't gotten to it yet, but uh, once we get there, I will be um, pausing my uploads for about two or three weeks. Maybe, uh, most likely just two weeks. And then we'll continue on with our regular up upload schedule of um, you know two two or three days per episode um, going on from there but yeah so just so you know there will be a two week pause um, I'll, I'll, I'll mention it again in my next episode just so that you know <laughs> you guys know that I'm still alive during that two weeks uh, let me see what is this okay so it's just a door okay let's pick this door just to move forward a little bit Um, okay. <laughs> He's just standing there. Alright, well. Blind, awesome. It's time to heal, Ash. Wow. So what is that ability? Pretty crazy. Okay, we need to attack some of these full health ones so Vaughn stops stealing from them. Um, I doubt these strips of maggoty flesh actually sell for anything. But hey, I can't help myself from... Uh, but to steal. Gotta steal. Get all the money I can. Okay, so it looks like this is the only path that actually leads somewhere, but I have a feeling I'm going to have to solve some kind of puzzle. What is that stuff on the ground? That's nasty. It's like mold going all over the floor. Okay. Oh, aha, you thought you could hide from me, could you? 176 go. Okay, so what do we have? Oh, what's going on here? A boss? Please let it be a boss. I've been itching to fight something exciting. Oh my, look at this thing. It actually looks kind of familiar. I don't know what it looks like, but it looks really familiar. Aramon, okay. Um, I guess we're just going to go with the Tankin's Bank option, because I don't really have anything I can throw at it. Um, poison, okay, you can poison me. That's fine. Ash isn't really doing very well here. 180 damage, that's not a whole lot. Um, but I will try to... Oh no! Bosh is automatically set to cure the Confused, which is good. I will keep my distance with Ash. 
Okay, so it's, he's uh, he's going down pretty steadily. That's good. Vaughn, how about we throw more poison? That's fine. How about we try to steal from him? Maybe we can steal something nice. Yeah, I don't care about poison. Couldn't steal, huh? Try it again. Oh my god, why are there two of them now? Don't you pull this duplicating shenanigans on me. Couldn't steal? Come on, he's gotta have something good. Damn it. <laughs> oh shoot, that is doom on Bosch. Oh no, and confused. Oh crap, that's confused on both of my characters. That's not good. Um, okay, there, cured. I guess I didn't need to throw that second one. Ow. I'm still insistent on the fact that there's something good to steal from this. Oh, great. Nothing to steal. Okay, so we already stole something. Whatever it was, I'm sure it was good. <laughs> okay, well, both my characters are doomed, quite literally. Um, where did he go? Oh, boy. Divide. Oh, man, why you gotta make this complicated? Alright, fun. Gotta take off your steel. And immobilize go. Uh oh. I don't like that. I enjoy my ability to move, thank you. Where's my Asuna? Oh shoot, this is doing a lot of damage. This is not good. Okay, okay. We're still good. We're still fine. Not dead yet. <laughs> But, um, which one are we actually attacking here? Okay, guess it doesn't really matter. Doom immobilize, huh? Let's cure Bosch of that immobilize. I guess that, that will get rid of the poison as well. And the confuse. Very good timing. It's not going to get rid of the doom, which is fine. Um, oh god, now we're all doomed. Okay, so there's Raze. Okay, okay. What's going on with Vaughn? Oh, that's right, he's immobilized. Um, gotta use that Asuna. I don't think my remedies... Actually, let me just check. My, do my remedies cure immobilize? It does, okay, fine. I'll start throwing um, remedies at Vaughn then. Because Ash's precious turns should be used for healing. As much as possible. Okay, actually Doom is not so bad, I mean... Once I die, I just revive, right? Unless all my characters die at once, then that's unfortunate. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're, we're still good. Kill the clones. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but oh my goodness, that is dividing so much. Um, just as a little bit of trivia. In Final Fantasy 3, if you, one of your characters is using a Dark Knight's weapon, um, actually Ashura is in fact a Dark Knight weapon, um, that actually prevents dividing enemies from dividing. So it's, in, it's really interesting because I am using a Dark Knight's weapon <laughs> on, uh, on Bosch, so this guy should not be able to divide, but I know this is not Final Fantasy 3. <laughs> Alright, let's finish him off with a mist. I must be strong. First time using this, Heaven's Wrath. Oh yeah, that's awesome. I've got you. White Whirl. Wow. That looks pretty cool. And here comes Ruined Impendiment. <laughs> yeah, these quickenings, these mist abilities, they look super powerful. And the fact that you can chain them together and then miss charge in the middle. Pretty epic. So hopefully this actually finishes him off. He doesn't have a lot of health left, so... 
I'm willing to. Oh god, I missed it. No, 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 no. Damn it. I re rolled even though there was a mischarge there. Oh well. It should finish him either way. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait, wind burst? Whoa. Haven't seen that one before. Alright. So I wonder if that's because we were using level 2 quickening skills. All right. I guess we can call that a job well done. <laughs> Bosch is just drinking from his little water skin there. Usually he plays around with the staff on this little uh, on this finishing screen. Okay, I'm still kind of upset that bosses don't actually drop anything. Uh, this boss in particular though, he does leave a bunch of treasure chests on the outskirts of the arena, so that's cool. Bubble moat, alright. Uh oh, Ash is gonna die. Uh, sorry Ash, can't really stop your doom, you know? I don't have Remedy Lore 3. <laughs> oh, wow. That can't feel good. And Bosch is gonna be next. Unfortunately. Not really much point in healing. Hmm. Okay, we'll pick up all the different things on the sides here. We've got a cure emote. Not really that useful. Uh, X potion, okay, that could be useful. <gasps> Alright, there we go. Raise casts really fast, so... Actually, it is a better alternative to Phoenix Down because it doesn't use any resources. But it does use MP, which means if people are dying a lot, then that could be pretty stressful on Ash's MP. Which means um, if I have the Phoenix Downs, I'll use the Phoenix Downs. But I have her toss Phoenix Downs instead because it's just less MP stressful. Um... I'm going to wager that this thing heals me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, famous last words, right? Immediately kills me after I say it. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, well, we can turn the steel back on. Tremor, okay. Oh, I thought that thing was called Quake. But Tremor, that's fine too. Okay, not gonna step on those anymore. I mean, whatever small chance it has of healing me is just not worth the chance that it would just insta kill me. Okay, Vaughn is level 36. He is leveling up so fast. Holy. I mean, already he's outleveled every one of my other characters. So we should be approaching the end now, um, hopefully. Wow. We spent a long time on the road. And I'm pretty sure this palace, ruins, temple, whatever you want to call it, is going to be our last destination before, or last place before reaching our destination of Arcades. I want this thing. Yeah. Oh, 300 go, not bad. And what do we have here? Another path, huh? 
What about over here? Oh, wait a minute. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, so this way is to the treasure, right? <laughs> Better be. So I wonder if there's like a, I know, I know this is going to be really random, I wonder if there's a fundamental difference between sap and poison. Because even though it's called sap, um, it's more like bleed, as in you're just taking constant damage over time, um, which is really what poison does. Sap kind of suggests that whoever is taking the damage is someone ab absorbing that damage, you know? Poison is just, you're poison, you're taking steady damage. Um, Maybe poison actually does more damage, but sap is harder to remove? I don't know. They can be both be removed with remedy, so I have no idea. Um, there's nothing here? Okay. That's fine. Okay, so we're finally out of this temple now. What is this area called? Chamber of the Chosen. This is not even a chamber, but okay. Temptation eluded. Oh man, I actually really like looking at the names of these different map areas. Hall of Shadow Light. That's an oxymoron if I've ever seen one. Destiny's March. Falls of Time. Uh, there was one part where there was like a little island blocked off by a stream of water. Uh, it's too bad we didn't figure out how to get there, but maybe eventually I'll be back to check it out. Mirror of the Soul. The Acolyte's Burden. Hall of Lambent Darkness. Doubt Abandoned. Oh, so cool. Really love these map names, even though there's not a lot going on in these maps. Okay, so what is this thing? Disused pedestal. Um, yeah, let's activate the lift. Cool. So I wonder if this will just lead us right to Arcades. like that elevator was designed just for us. Uh, where are we on the map here? There is a teleport crystal here, which is awesome. Uh, if I ever wanted to come back here, I can, for whatever reason. Anything else? Mm. Let's move on. Oh, there we go. I can see the city. Oh my god, finally. <laughs> After, I think, three episodes of wandering around the wilderness, We've made it to civilization. <laughs> oh man, let the story continue, guys. Ooh, smells less like a capital, more like a sewer. Even empires have need of sewers. The runner from Arcades proper pools here, those who lack papers to live in the city itself. The mighty who have fallen, and the fallen who would be mighty. Their eyes never leave Arcades. I guess it must be a lot nicer than this place. Oh, to be sure. Arcades reeks of a different filth. Let's be off. We can follow our noses to Draclaw. So I guess in some sense, there is a low town to Arcades. Yeah, so there's the old Arcades, and then there, I guess, is the new Arcade. Oh my goodness! Skyscrapers! <laughs> wow, alright. Alley of Low Whispers, cool. Alright, we'll start by looting these chests, 15 gil. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's talk to some people, shall we? Man of the Gate. Hmm, how is this new? Plenty of worms come up uh, out of the ground here, but not many of them are the sort with two legs. Wow, really? Come to make your first in the capital, word of advice, worms, turn back while you're still some guild to your name. Nope. I don't have a lot of guild to begin with. I got a lot of junk that can sell for a gill, but... <laughs> okay, speaking of junk that can sell for a gill, 
Lost all my money, can't even afford an airship back home to wrap an aster. Uh, I thought going back uh, through Sochin, but I hear some ancient worm lurks down there, and I don't care, I don't much care to run into one of these. I think I could get away on those legs. Bah, I'm stuck here for life. Look, would you buy something to help a fellow out? Huh. <laughs> well, you know what? I know you have no money, but there's no sympathy from me. I'm gonna sell you all my crap. Starting with needle juice, sledgehammer. I'll keep that uh, spear. Obviously, I'm not gonna sell you my sword of kings. I don't even think you can sell it. <laughs> um, short bow, capella, javelin, iron sword, vega. He says he's broke, but he's able to buy all of these items for me. <laughs> Shoot a sort of staff. Whoa. Oh, shoot. I forgot to give this to Pinello. No, I bought it. And I didn't use it. Oh, crap. Oh, wow. This stuff happens, you know. All right, what else can I sell? I can sell one of these ice shields. Uh, Jujutsugi. Dragon shield I'll keep. Feather cap. Oh, finally getting some money back. And yeah, all of this stuff I don't need. We either looted them from chests or got them from bazaar. Um, definitely don't need that. Okay. Long bolts. I got two of them. Might as well sell one. And yeah, onion arrows. <laughs> 50 kill. Nothing. Alright. Not gonna sell those stuff. But I will start selling some of my loot stuff. Yes. Succulent fruit. Earth magicite. Oh man, I thought I would get some like story content in this episode, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm gonna spend some time like uh, <laughs> selling my stuff here. Privateer trophy urn, cool. Wow, 47 wind magicites. Would you look at that? Curl pelts, ooh, worth a lot of money. Fire magicite. Quality pelt. Damascus Steel. This sells for so much. Teleport Stones I will definitely keep. Bundle of Feathers. Yes. And Malboro Fruit. Cool. I just want to find out how much those strips of maggoty flesh sell for. <laughs> Storm Crystals to see if they were worth stealing. There we go. 741. Oh my god, I'm going to be rich. How can maggoty flesh be worth so much? This lurid decaying lump is assumed to be maggoty. No one has been able to look at it long enough to know for sure, using dark magics and alchemy. And yet this guy who claims to be completely broke just bought like 30 of them from me. <laughs> Think about that for a second. Alright, so bizarre. Burnished protectives. Um, suffuse of strong magics, affording additional protection beyond physical. Um, man, I would love to buy some of these, but... They seem pretty expensive. Burning fangs? I'll buy this. I'm curious to see what this is. Sileo fang. Huh. Do I just sell those or what? <laughs> Survival set. Uh, okay. Yep. I will always take consumables. 12 of each of those. Nice. Warped blade. Cannot burn solid. What is this? Let's buy this. Diamond sword. Okay. Yeah, okay. One by one, I'm going to take a look at all the stuff we get. It's going to be another one of those guys. Sit tight. Or you can just like close this video now because we're basically done with progression. <laughs> Unfortunately, I know. Uh, what do we get? Diamond Sword? Diamond Sword. It is a pretty sizable upgrade. Awesome. Sword 7. I shall afford that with both ear. There it is. Can't wait until I get to use some gray swords. They look super powerful. Okay, there we go. And let's keep on going through the bazaar. Uh, forked spear. None of my characters are using spears right now, so I'm just gonna skip that. Um, Bosch has switched over from axes to ninja swords, so I'm gonna skip that too. But I will buy this burnish protective to see what do we have. Burgonet shielded armor and ice shield. Eh, okay, I don't think it's that useful. Maybe Balthier can make use of some of this stuff. Or Bosch. Um, nope. 
shield and armor. Nope. Both here. He's already using the Brigonet, <laughs> so... Yeah, nothing too special there. Oh well. Okay, let's see what he has to offer. Wow, he has no equipment at all. He's just... Okay. Just selling all this stuff. Um, I will refill my supply of remedies. Let's buy seven of them. And are his stuff more expensive than other people's? I have a feeling they are. Because I thought high potions were 150. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I'm just remembering things wrong. Meh. Yeah, either way, I'll help this guy out. I just sold him a bunch of crap. Might as well buy some stuff from him too. <laughs> we'll buy 20 high potions from him. And... Not gonna go for boxes of swine. Not a big fan of Berserk. Especially if it's on myself. It's even worse than the enemies. Because they attack mindlessly either way. Welcome to Arcades. Old Arcades, that is. The people here, they all took their dreams up to the city. Adam stripped them... Stripped... Wait. Adam stripped away and fell back down. Okay. You are just an unfamiliar face. If you're here hoping to get up to the city, best find yourself information that's like the interest, the ardents... Uh, that's like to interest the ardents and gentry. Where travels fast in this town, new information is born, grows old, and dies in a day at the Emperor's assassination? Ancient history, my friend. Oh yeah, it's been a couple of years. Uh, now that's a face I dislike. It's the eyes, beard, beady, shining eyes that see but ne'er show. You know the sort, huh? Whom do I speak of? Vain, of course. Only a man like that could do what he's done. Killing his own two brothers in cold blood for opposing the Emperor. Yeah. Three gil. Wow. Okay. There's a lot of people to talk to. I don't think I need to talk to everyone. Maybe just like... The odd person or two I'll talk to. You have business with us, I tell you straight out, we have no money, so don't even bother trying to relieve us of it. Okay. Don't worry, I'm not after your money. I'm after the awesome amounts of money in these treasure chests. Look at that one gill. So good. You can buy, like, nothing with it. Man, do I ever like some nothing. Brother, brother mine, if we'd only bought uh, them cockatrices when we'd had the chance, why would be rich men today so we would? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, cockatrice meat's not half as tasty as they'd have you believe. This recent interest in them's a fad, you mark my words. Nah, cockatrices or no, I'll face the same. <laughs> it's an old but indignified fowl. Yeah, alright. Okay, let's just keep exploring then. I don't think anything here is really worth uh, spending too much time on. Okay, let's talk to this kid up here. See that bridge up there? On the far side of that is the Imperial City of Arcades. Looks really fancy. Wow. Um, when I get a bit bigger, I'm going to be a soldier there. Alright. This bridge, though. Why do you have, to have such a massive bridge connecting old Arcades to, like, the uh, real Arcades. Hmm. If you really wanted to segregate people, you would just like have people go across by boat. Only the rich can afford it, you know? The Mughals ate. Seek was. Uh, a Seek there was. He sought to pay. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> Said he, I'll take you far away. A gourmet's tour he promised us. But all we add is curds and whey. <laughs> Alright, that's cute. Wow. Their eyes are really creepy though. Why are they just black dots? Oh my goodness. Alright, so I guess we're done here. Nothing much else to see here in Old Arcadia. So I guess we'll just go on to uh, the actual Imperial City. Damn, I would have loved, loved to cross that bridge myself. Enjoy the view a little bit. I should just stop bothering with those treasure chests. <laughs> they give me absolutely nothing. Okay, let's see what the people on this side have to say, huh? You. Trying to go up to Arcades, perchance. I know the type. All hopes and dreams, but never any knowledge. 
You wouldn't venture into a battle without a blade, am I right? To go to the city without the proper knowledge, why? It is the same thing. And I'll tell you, you're somewhat else. It was knowledge what brought them senators to their knees, and that's the truth. Still want to go into the city? Yes. I mean, we have to go. It's part of the story. You can't stop us from going. <laughs> Four go. Uh, what do we have here? Ah, this thing, okay. This looks interesting. Come to hear a tale, perhaps. It'd be a lot to be learned from the stories of the past. A lot you youngsters seem to have forgotten to your peril. You should show a little more respect for fairy tales. Okay. You didn't even tell me anything. Okay. Um, let's say 11 go. Alright, not a rush. <laughs> Okay, interesting. Save Crystal here. And I think uh, that next one that we go into is going to be heading into Arcades. So, um, Old Valley Alley, uh, Old Arcades, the Alley of the Mutated Size. Wait, <laughs> Mutated, Muted Size. Muted Size and Low Whispers, very interesting. So I bet there's a lot of gossip and whatever rumors going about in this area, so uh, yeah. I'm going to end things off here, and uh, we'll pick, pick this up next time, we'll continue on to Arcades, and man, it's finally time for some story to happen, so I'm super excited about that. But um, yep, that will be it this time, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you on the next episode.